Hi there, it's Celeste. And today I'm going to show you how to log on to a Zoom call and how to work some of the features on the Zoom page. I'm mainly doing this for my book club ladies, but I thought I'd post this on YouTube for anyone else who might need some help with it. I'm going to be using my husband, Paul, as a Zoom participant. And I'm going to have an unusual person standing in as the host because I have to be able to show you what's going on as a participant. So I need someone to be the host. And so you will see her in a few minutes. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it helpful. I have my iPad set up the way it will be when I join the Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna use my little pointer here. So you'll get an email and it says Zoom meeting invitation and the name of the meeting. And then if you look down here, there will be a link right here to join the Zoom meeting. You can join it either online or by using the Zoom app. And it's all free unless you're planning on hosting meetings and you wanna sign up. If you're going to use the link and do it online, you'll need the meeting ID, which is right here, and you'll need a passcode, which is written below it, okay? If you're joining on your phone, they have a one-tap mobile that you can click here. There's also a dial-by, but hopefully you guys won't need that. At any rate, um, if you're not using the app, you have to have the meeting ID and the passcode. So you can either jot them down or copy and paste but it's easiest if you just use the app, and I'm gonna show you how that works. So when I tap on this, since I'm already signed up with the app, I tap on that, oopsies, and, and then I get this picture. And you see the host, there she is, that's my Janine doll. And if you want to hear anybody, and if you want them to hear you, you have to use internet audio. So I'm gonna click on this. There's also a dial-in. I've never used that. Couldn't tell you how to use it. So call in using internet audio. All right, then we want to have video as well. So if you tap anywhere on the screen, you will get, and I'm hoping you can see this up here, you will get all sorts of commands. So you wanna hit start video. Oops, come back. And then there we are, hi. It's hard to see me because I'm doing a tutorial. Um, it's a nice view of my china cabinet. All right, and then there's other things you can do. You can see who the participants are. And right now it's me and um, Janine. And if you wanna get out of that, click on it again. Then there's a more section on the end. And here you can, you can do things like um, minimizing the meeting if you have to. You want to get back you click on it and you can also change the backgrounds it's the virtual background and if you'd like to do that there's all these choices down below I don't know if you can see that um, so if I want to do like a pretty background I can do that but if I want to get out of it I'm going to hit the word none and then I'm back where, where we are. Okay, so now, get out of that, I press the X. Now, right now, we're just seeing me and the host. But if you wanna see everyone in the group, over here in the corner here, you have switch to gallery view. And then I see everyone who's in the meeting me and Janine, and in a few minutes, Paul is going to join us. Now, if you wanted to show someone something, you can hit this button here that says switch camera, and then that flips around, and of course you're seeing a chair, a dog bowl, and a kitchen, very boring. But if you needed to show somebody a picture or something like my list of things to do for today, you can show them that but I'm gonna switch back now. Now let's say all of a sudden, somebody noisy came into the room or you got a phone call or something happened. There is a mute button up here. You can still hear the participants, but they can't hear you and your noisy people, whoever is bothering you. 
waiting, waiting. Oh, and normally I would have the camera turned so that I was framed in the picture normally. This is only like this so that you can see what a Zoom call looks like. So Paul has just joined the meeting and we're trying to get him to where he can appear. Oh, there he is. Okay, he had to allow the internet video to work. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, say hi, Paul. Hello. Okay, so this is our meeting. We've got the host and two guests. And so Paul, I want you to start talking because I wanna show them how we can switch to the active speaker rather than gallery view. So just start talking about, say something about your work. It can be boring, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. okay, well, we have been pretty busy today with work. Uh, okay, so that's and, uh, active speaker. Keep and going. a lot of different calls. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, that's good, because I just wanted to show them how to flip off between um, the person who's speaking or if you want to keep the gallery view with all the participants. Okay, so now we're going to show how to leave the meeting. And so what you do, you tap on the screen, and up here in this corner is the word leave. You tap on it, and then it confirms. Do you want to leave the meeting? And we'll say yes. Okay, I could do that. All right, yeah, you go ahead. All right, so Paul's leaving, and then I'm gonna leave, and then it'll just be Janine left. Okay, so I'm leaving, and that's it. That's my Zoom tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I'm not an expert, obviously, but I've done a few Zoom meetings, and I hope I was able to help you out if you haven't done one before. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, and I'll see if I can help you. For the book club ladies who are watching this video, feel free to email me and I can answer your questions. Hopefully it'll all work out well when we have our first Zoom book club meeting. Everyone else, have a good night and I will see you in the next video. Bye!